But there's some things you're saying that I think are really important tools when it comes to how to maintain your sense of self and your values when having to deal with the internet and social media specifically. So one thing you just said uh, a moment ago was that you were talking about somebody responding to your painting and you decided in yourself that you weren't going to deal with it because it was in bad faith. And that's something I feel like I kind of do too. I, I kind of evaluate whether somebody's legitimately trying to engage in discourse or whether it feels like just a troll. But I did want to hear you uh, talk about that more so we can kind of, um, you know, maybe give some insight into others on how to protect their minds and be on the internet at the same time. Totally. I think that there's a lot of times where people will engage in bad faith just to sort of like, uh, like goad you into an argument just for the sake of either trying to slip, get you to slip up and say something that you can't really justify or just thinking that they absolutely are like have a foolproof argument that you can't really back out of. And whenever that is the case, uh, I have one of two options, which is just ignore it and don't let them uh, win and block them because I, I love the block button. I, so <laughs> I love it too. <laughs> I like, I have preemptively blocked like so many politicians just being like, I don't want you guys retweeting Ted Cruz in my timeline. Sorry, he's gone. Right. But then I, uh, the other thing is like, sometimes I will just go like, I don't want to take this seriously, but I do want to tell this person off. So I'll just like say something stupid to them and be like, well, this is all I'm engaging because I don't, I know that as soon as I get into a serious argument about it, it's just going to be like, if I back out at any point, then it to them, they'll be like, oh, they just stopped uh, responding because I've won. And it's like, no, I stopped responding because I don't want to do this for the next hour mm -hmm. looking like an <laughs> idiot on the Internet. And like I'm getting actually mad about this person I've never seen who is just like we're just two people sitting behind a computer yelling at each other. And it's like neither of us is going to change our mind. This isn't in good faith. It's right. people arguing to go. No, I'm right. No, I'm right. And it's like then what's the point of doing this besides just letting your blood boil and letting this person think that they are getting at someone that they consider to be like have a larger audience and just like it, they're trying to discredit you they want a, a thing that they can like look back on whenever you say anything and go oh well you sh aren't actually as smart as you think you are because of this other moment and i just feel like it's never worth the fight it's never like i i, I try i don't think i ever say anything that I don't feel a little confident about or very confident about because I don't want to like, I, I don't want to stand behind something that I have to fight for and be like, well, I can't justify this, but here's this. So I, it's just always like, yeah, I think it's very easy to tell when someone's working in bad faith too, because it will, they'll either say something like, honest question just trying to ask and it's like you can tell that they are using certain language where it's like no that's you are asserting a thing that you think is true already and trying to get me to explain it to you so you can fight or they'll just couch it in like length it's all about like the language they use and how they suggest that certain uh things are objectively correct or certain things are like they're playing dumb in a way that they want you to try and correct them so that they can lead you on this wild goose chase. And I'm always just like, I don't, I don't want to play this game. So I'm not hmm. going to. That's, that's fantastic. Uh, that's a fantastic piece of advice. It, it's kind of like, um, I look at it like it's an infinite game. I had a, a scientist say that to me, or actually I saw him speak. He had written this book. Um, and you know, it, it's a controversial book and people were like, well, it, he had went to other people's theories and, some debunked some and and he ran all of his stuff by those actual scientists like the ones that were live right um but of course there's going to be people who debunk his book and he has a lot of critics and he's never really responded and when i saw him speak somebody was like well why don't you ever respond and he said because science is an infinite game you know it's like there's always going to be new and better information you know this is what i think right now based on the information we have i hope someone disproves me because that would mean that we've had more information but it, right. it's a waste of energy to constantly be in a fight about the work you know what i mean that and, and about the, the the stuff that you're putting out because you know it's, it's going to change so like it's so malleable but it's also so open to interpretation in different ways where it's like you can have a, a direct thing of someone saying like the sky is blue and you can have one person going like okay well that means that all of these things it reflects on are blue it's like well no 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 because what does it mean to reflect on it's like other people people will interpret one source of information as multiple different things and then that leads to different political beliefs and all these other things and you're just it's trying to it feels like you're trying to fight someone on whether or not something is a spoon or not and you're like 
you just both have a different definition of what a spoon is. And it's like, then why are we doing this? <laughs> and it's like, all right, someone will prove what a spoon is. And it's like, well, now we're arguing about what utensils are. And it's just like, <laughs> it's so hard to do. And it feels like it's the infinite game.